Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. So you, when you're getting married, everyone, especially like a lot of my friends are married, and as you, you know, get engaged and move forward, everyone has this story. And I don't know if it's because they want to give you the smart thing and blah, blah, blah. But everyone gives you this thing about how marriage is hard. And it's going to be difficult. And it's going to be a fight. Here's the thing. None of those people are marrying Bethany. It will be hard. And we will go through struggles, I'm sure. But at the end of the day, I think she's perfect. The, you know, you, it's like you go to marriage counseling and they go on and on about how, uh, you know, everyone's difficult, everyone has their flaws, blah, blah, blah. And the intellectual thing to do is go, yeah, man, I agree, nobody's perfect. And I'm sitting there at the church where we will get married tomorrow in front of all of y'all with the preacher. I'm constantly pinching myself and how lucky I am to be with her. And we will do everything we can to make sure that we support everyone in this room and can do anything we can to make your lives better as we move forward. And I, as I hope that the Riddles know and I know my family knows, will obviously do all that I can to live up to what will be the greatest privilege of my life, which is to Mary Bethany tomorrow. Growing up, I always looked up to Bethany, um, always put her on a pedestal, wanted to be her. Um, she was my best friend. My, she dressed me up when I was little. One thing about Bethany is I never wanted to share her with anyone else because she was so special um, to me. And now that she has Baker, I've never seen her so happy and so loved. And she has found the person that I'm okay with sharing her with. Getting ready for this this week, I thought about life to this point. I thought about the choices we made. I thought about what made those choices good choices. Were they good choices because we made them for the right reasons? Were those... Uh, were those choices pleasing to God? Did He bless them as a result? And you inspire us to do the right thing for the right reasons. Speaking for Kenny, I know this moment you're, you're feeling pretty good about the choices you made. And I'm feeling incredible about the choices we made. And I look forward to the choices that they will make. And um, I pray that they all are for the glory of God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, keep you. The Lord mercifully with His favor look upon you and fill you with all spiritual benediction and grace that you may faithfully live together in this life and in the age to come have life everlasting. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you.